So the good city versus great city debate is really interesting right now because Toronto has the fabric of a great city and it has the attitude of a good city. And the challenge for us is to know what the fine balance is between taking examples from across the pond, from around the world, of cities that have done really well, and also nurturing and supporting the ideas of our homegrown talent. And what we are lacking right now is the courage to take a risk. It's the courage to actually commit to an idea, whether it's homegrown or whether it's from abroad, and make some bold transformative change in our city. One of the biggest risks, I think, is bringing citizen voice to the table and not actually bringing them to the table as a consultative process, but bringing them to the table to work together and building cities with people, not just for people. The thing about cities, that, that I think the challenge, especially in a city like Toronto, is that there are opportunities, small, medium, large, extra large opportunities for citizens to be involved. And the default is for us to give citizens agency in the places that are small. We give citizens the project of the neighborhood parquet, of speed bumps on their, on their street. But do we, bring, do we bring the person whose lifeline is the Gardner Expressway to the decision-making table? Not just once, but every time the decision-making table convenes. Toronto has a lot of good experts and we have a lot of great citizens. For us to be a great city we need to leverage the voice and the capacity and the ideas of this great community of people that make Toronto Toronto.